Yeah. Look at some of the girls. Walking on the beaches, looking at the peaches. Well, you know, Arnie, <laughs> Arnie, the girl, you know, we watch the show. Yeah, thank we, you. Uh, we play it in the parlor at the Bunny Ranch. Yeah. And the girls are concerned. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you know, we had a little breakup last week. Yes, 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 and absolutely. They're, they're willing to give you a helping hand. <laughs> uh, I'm sure they are. <laughs> so, well, listen, I think, I, think I, I have a, I just found this out from my agent. I think I will be in the Los Angeles area, which means I will make sure I get to the Las Vegas area the first week of July. But wait, wait, and you know what? Come to Northern Nevada. That's where the bunny race. I have stores, uh, brothels outside okay, of Vegas. Okay, well, you tell now. me where to go. But if I go out there, and I think I'm going. It's a 90 percent chance I'm coming out there. Are you excited, girls? Yeah. yeah. Well, that is the greatest Woo! fake excitement ever. <laughs> and they, they can fake a lot of things. I know. That's all we need. Okay, well, that's going to be amazing. But well, we're sitting here with the great Dennis, Dennis Hoff, uh, and uh, that's going to be fun. But we're talking more about Sc Scott Thorson here, who's got the movie out by, behind the candelabra. Matt Damon plays him about his affair with Liberace for five years. Talk about sex with Michael Jackson. Yeah. Now, what was this about? Well, uh, 78, uh, about 77, 78, uh, uh, I was introduced to Michael by Liberace. Right. Michael and I became very good friends. Mm -hmm. And then when the breakup in 82, when I broke up with Lee, I went on tour with, with Michael. This is when Michael was just branching off on his own. He got rid of the right. his brothers and family. Right. Started the Thriller tour. Thriller was just about to happen. Yeah. Exactly. And, and this is when he became a huge star. I went to England with him, and we went to, when he did Say Say with uh, Paul McCartney. Right. And had a wonderful time with with Michael. Yeah. And, uh, and... Did you, in fact, have sex with Michael Jackson? Yeah, we had an affair, yeah. <laughs> uh, on and off. <laughs> wow. Not a lot of people... I mean, it's, I mean, no, obviously, I, I always said to myself, people wonder what... Michael Jackson, to me, was obviously homosexual. He was on tour with his, his brothers, and they were, uh, you know, having sex with all these women. And I think he was confused, and that was part <laughs> of his problem. He was, he was in that world, yeah. and, you know, I mean... But, so, did you have a loving affair? I mean, it was like a... Well, it was on and off. Yeah. This, is, this is when I was just, uh, uh, you know, getting over uh, the breakup with Lee... And then Michael was getting so big. I mean, he and got then, his biggest star. Gets, yeah. I mean, you and the Barachi just to, uh, you know, for people who haven't seen the film, you should definitely check it out. It's on On Demand now. It ended with you suing him, and you ended up getting some money, yeah. not a lot of money. And then a couple years later, uh, after that, you're, you're in an apartment somewhere in L.A., and the phone rings, it's Liberace, and he tells you he's dying of AIDS. That's and right, And he wants yeah. to see you. Now, did you feel, you went to go see him one last time, and he yes. looked bad, very thin. It did was you, horrible. He was down to 96 pounds. Now, you feel he was doing something nice? Where he was just warning you, hey, listen, you know, I might, I have a. Well, yeah, yeah, I think he wanted to. He he kept asking me how my health was, and then finally, when I put two to two together, then right. of, of course, you know, Vegas is a very small town. Yeah. And, and the rumors started flying, and then um, his doctor. I got very angry with Dr. Ghanem at the time. It was my doctor. Right. Yeah, and uh, he he wouldn't tell me. He you know they denied the fact. And uh, so I went and I ha I got checked and thank God I didn't have it. Yeah, it's not great. I mean, listen, yeah, uh, I mean, you know. Now and, at the time, were you having sex with Michael Jackson when you find this out? Oh yeah, yeah. So we, you were at a full blown affair with Michael Jackson when you find out yes, that your ex lover yes, had yes, AIDS. Yes. And then you know, as Michael was getting bigger, then we cooled it because we didn't want the press. You know, Michael was very paranoid of this. Was he bisexual or full blown? Uh, Michael uh, homosexual. Uh, Michael is gay, as far as I'm concerned. The he was stuff, gay. I mean, the stuff with the women trying to, uh, you know, uh, Elvis's daughter, just all for the press. It was all publicity. Right. What about the know? kids? I mean, based on what you know of Michael, or I don't, I, I don't buy, uh, buy it for a minute. Though. That they're his no. children. Michael and Liberace had something in common. They both really just didn't have time to date women. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, so, so but well, that's, that's fascinating. Yeah. Not a lot of people, that, and, that's news. Not yeah, a lot of people wanna, have, say, have yeah. said that. Yeah, I want to say I passed two lie detector tests, and it was... I believe you. You know, um, Alan Butterfield from the National Enquirer, before they would print this story, they, right. they, they flew in two of the best lie detector guys. They were FBI agents, excess FBI agents. And uh, they even offered, uh, you know, Michael Jackson was even offered uh, to take the, the lie detector he test. <laughs> he was busy. Well, now, did you, how does Michael Jackson's family react to you when they well, hear that? I mean, they... I'm, I, they're, they're, I'm sure there's, they're denying it, but, uh, you know, they haven't touched me. I mean, Do you they, know of anybody else he was having sex with? Any uh, other men? No, I don't. You don't, but no. you, were, you had an affair with them. They say last on and off for about 82 to 85 ish. Yeah. And it, it's. Which uh, really got uh, huge, yeah. Well, yeah, he was really huge then. Yeah, yeah. And then he started getting weird with plastic surgery. Then he got hooked on the drugs. Right, and, right. 
And then, you know, then the allegations of the kids. Now, one thing I can say, he was no child. That? No, he was no child molester. Without question, they're not molester. No. And don't forget, he went to trial. He was acquitted for that. This kid uh, took $20 million from Michael. Yeah. And there was the uncle yeah, that did forget, this. Yeah, people forget P about people that. People forget about that. He took a bunch that. of money, exactly. And, uh, you know, Michael paid, Michael paid him off. Uh, because he didn't want his career. No, Michael make, was a that huge makes, that star. That makes sense. You're talking about yeah. a lot of money at stake, and still. Yeah. Now, do you feel bad? I feel bad for the kids, though. I mean, there are such there's pawns in this whole thing. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. And then just recently, um, Paris tried to commit yeah, suicide. Yeah, terrible, um, terrible. A horrible situation that uh, they're in, and that whole family is so dysfunctional. No. I mean, each all the kids. Yeah, it's horrible. They're rich. They're famous. Yeah, I know. That's a lot of people, awful. It, it? it can be rough, but I tell you, yeah, it's rough. you never know how different people uh, react to different things. Now you. You also had sex in, in the White House when the Reagan House, was yeah. uh, in office. How many people can say you had sex in the Lincoln bedroom? Right? Well, I'm sure I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure George W. Bush can never say that. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, what about, now, who, now who was it with? Was it with Michael? No, no, Liberace. This you and Liberace this... had sex in the White House while Reagan was in the <laughs> House? Reagan was just being sworn in. We we did the inauguration <laughs> there. We were we were we were. Um, and you banged guests. him in the Lincoln bedroom. Yeah, we were guests, uh, and then Nancy and Ronald Reagan was in office, and that's where we stayed in the White House. Wow! So. Well, I want to give you a round of applause for that. <laughs> that, that, that for I took my hat off to that. I like that. <laughs> So the, yeah. wait, the inauguration happens in eighty, so in 1980, his first inauguration. Yeah, and because that falls in timeline when you were with yeah. uh, with him. So y y he plays piano, you entertain, and you stay in the Lincoln bedroom, mm. and you have sex that night. That's that's correct. While Reagan was pretending to have sex with Nancy, <laughs> 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 or trying to get it up. It, 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 <laughs> impress me. Tell me you had sex with Ronald Reagan. No, no, no. no. <laughs> He's Tell us something we want to hear. No, no, no. <laughs> no, so you actually, that's that's mm. unbelievable. That's unbelievable. So now. Uh, uh, followed up. I mean, what an amazing life. The Wonderland murders, the famous murders of John yes. Holmes, the porn star. You're involved completely in that. Right. Well, you know, I this this happened in '81, and uh, I was uh, I was going in partnership with Nash in some, several uh, clubs. Nash was a big nightclub owner in Los Angeles. He was also the biggest drug lord in Los Angeles. He brought in all the heroin and Supposedly cocaine. Supposedly the guy who ordered the hits. This guy Nash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. John Holmes sets up the robbery at his house. I happened to fly in there from Tahoe. We were performing at the, the Sahara Tahoe to pick up a pound of cocaine. You were in the Mirage, Mash. right? Yeah, a, a pound. Yeah, <laughs> Quick Jack drop Star, off. Yeah, Jack starts shoots himself in the head. The surgeon. Right. So I needed a new drug. Eddie becomes my my drug supplier. Your doctor was supplying you a blow. Shot himself in the head. Yeah. Right. And then uh, Nash takes over and becomes my drug uh, supplier. I go into business with him. I happened to be in the wrong place at the time when this happened up in Laurel Canyon when Nash, um, he come through the doors and they found out that he was responsible for setting up the robbery and leaving the back door open. Right, right. And they beat the hell out of him. With bats and pipes. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And what happened was that um, they ordered him, uh, they ordered these guys to go up to uh, take uh, homes up there and Holmes, they forced Holmes to, to participate in, in some of the killings. Right. They made Holmes yeah. beat a couple of women to death. Right. right, right and right. they even used Liberace's car to go up in there. Oh, they because, did? Because... They got uh, it from you? Well, yeah. I was. It was in the driveway there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, where's a where's a, where's a powder blue uh, with rhinestones, Rolls Royce when you need it with a pound of coke? In no, the actually, of coke? actually, it was a Bill Blast Lincoln. <laughs> of course, it was. <laughs> anyway, so uh, they they beat these people to death with a pipe. Uh, nobody knew about this. I mean, the police, uh, you know, the famous Tom Lang that did the O.J. murders. Right, right? He was the right. lead detective on this. Yeah, the L.A. cops were weird back then. Oh yeah, yeah. and uh, they said. Uh, you know, they kept that a hush up because they didn't want the public to know about what was used. And uh, I saw the pipe. Matter of fact, it had threads on it. And the people were beaten so bad. And I, I, the blood where, the where the dentation of the oh, pipe threads man. were oh. in the forehead. Wow. Blood and hair. And, uh, and women were Yeah, beaten. and yeah. I heard, I heard uh, Gregory Dial say this to Nash. And I said, oh, you know, and, and I saw the blood and I saw the pipe. So it was a big. Uh, Nash yeah. is an Armenian guy, like sort of a yeah. dangerous guy who owned clubs and yeah. you know. Yeah, you know, he put then he puts a contract on me for 150 grand. And why? Because you were there. You were a witness. Yeah. Well, and he starts smoking the crack. Right. Not good. Gets paranoid. Decides to have everybody whacked. 
Yeah. Including, you know, they were they were going to go after uh, John and all that. John ends up dying of AIDS a before years later. They, before the police could uh, get him to testify. So you went into the witness protection program. I went into the witness protection program. Yeah. And then Nash died. You didn't have to be there anymore. You no. Nash is a Nash is a, was alive. I tested. Is he still alive? Oh yeah. He, oh he yeah, is. Yeah. Oh okay. They shot. They shot him five times. Oh, yeah. Okay. You took five bullets, right? I took five so now, bullets. Do they know where Nash is? Oh yeah, he's in Los Angeles. He's not in well, jail. Well, here's here's the funny thing. I like thing. to apologize for everything I said about Mr. Nash. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when when I testified, eleven people voted guilty, but he got to the one. Well, then the feds picked him up in '99. He confessed to the murders. He confessed to the bribing of the witness and the money laundering and the racketeering. They charged him for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of drug. I mean, fine. 33 months in prison for having all those people. Wow. That's it. Wow. And he got away with it. Wow. Now, now he, I find this so interesting. It's he, fascinating. He goes into the witness protection program. Right. But he still wants to be in the limelight like he was with Liberace. Yeah. So what does he do? He comes in a, he comes an evangelist with Billy Graham. Right? <laughs> I was yeah, going to say, true. you must not think and, much of our show. You're in the witness protection and, program. Yeah. And you're here. <laughs> and Pat Robertson at the, the 700 Club. And I build a very big ministry there. Uh, that's right. I know. Yeah. I, the, it's, you, you, what are, you have one of the most fascinating lives you can imagine. So you're just like in their face. Like, look, I don't care. I'm going to still live my life. Yeah. And, and, and I was even glamorous and famous. And I was crazy back then. I had pounds of... You know, I said, what a better way to get my... My, my 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 coke from one city to another when I could just put it in the back seat with me in the feds, you Why know, not? you know, and boom, You're with feds, I, I went right <laughs> through the airport. You know, there's my, you know, I didn't have to check any baggage, and you know, the cops, they they took me right you're through. You're with them. Yeah, I'm with now, them. I mean, think about think about uh, the Los Angeles and show business. Like like Michael Jackson is basically one degree away from you with a pound of blow and the feds, and now did Michael Jackson do coke? No, he didn't do coke. He, he was coke. very against drugs back then. Okay. It wasn't until the surgeons, until the plastic surgery, he when he started getting crazy. And then when he lit himself on fire by mistake. Yeah, and yeah. then that that started it too. And, yeah. and I was there that day, and um, he. You were uh, on the set of that commercial. When yeah, he lit himself on yeah. Fire? And he starts getting addicted to the painkillers. Right. So it's uh, can you imagine your listeners? Your listeners are out there. How, how <laughs> inadequate they feel that they got to scrounge for a, a, a gram, <laughs> a pound. And this guy throws pounds seem, around. Doesn't it seem like cocaine? On, uh, 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 some of the, the younger guys here don't do a lot of these drugs, and I, I applaud them for it. But I don't know if any younger people are still doing coke. It seems like coke is obsolete. Yeah. It seems like everybody's taking Adderall or something. Cocaine has become an obsolete thing where you got to get it. You got to. It's not a convenient drug. Mm -hmm. they, it seems like the first time I did. Ecstasy. I said to myself, they perfected drugs. It was in the early 90s. I said, this is all the things you want to feel like, heroin blow and everything in one pill. You take it before you go out. It lasts 12 hours. You don't have to find a, a bathroom stall and put it on a key and do, you know, every 10 minutes. Yeah. But, you know, it seems like cocaine, especially smoking it now, yeah. is like an obsolete thing. But um, yeah, it's were, you, were, you guys, were you guys smoking it or snorting it? Oh, no, we were smoking it. We were snorting they, they were smoking it, shooting it. it. Yeah, free basing. Shooting coke, my God. Oh, yeah. oh. But so so now, how does it end with Michael Jackson? Just because, did he basically say to you, look, I'm, I'm just too famous to keep doing this, or? Well, yeah, and then, you know, his management team, and, and, and then, uh, you know, it's it all changed, and, and uh, I was tired, too, at that point. I wanted uh, I wanted out of the limelight for a while. Right, Well, right. who did yeah. you move on to? Pardon me? Who'd you move on to from there? Yeah, what'd you start <laughs> doing after, after Michael Jackson? I mean, it's hard to keep going. Like, you know, you got well, Liberace, yeah. Michael Jackson. Well, there's Larry Gatlin, there's Whoa. Loretta Lynn, there's, uh, Larry Gatlin. I mean, the sex parties back then, and then Siegfried and Roy's well, parties. we know about were. them. They had some fun. Oh, yeah. Siegfried and Roy would party it up, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, they were crazy. Well, why not? Were they as crazy as Liberace with the parties? Oh, yeah, even more so. Because you had white tigers in Yeah, well, yeah. you had, not, yeah. You had, you know. Would the you white... do coke in the same house as a white tiger? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's pushing it. I mean, that's crazy. I just saw a white tiger. <laughs> hey, uh, with with Michael Jackson, was it the same setup as with Liberace, where you were the batter and he was the catcher? Or how, did that always work the same way? After the age, yeah. I would always stay the batter, right? It sounds well, like you were batting a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> you, were like, you were like Napa Joye. 
<laughs> You're the Ty Cobb of, That's of gay <laughs> batter. <laughs> I tell you, I'm a comedian. Oh, you guys are bad, bad, bad. <laughs>